What's an epsilon? What's a delta? Really, really dry and boring. It just made things 10 times worse. Didn't know how to do them. Really, really stressful. Three out of five geese. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nicholas and I just finished my first semester or my 1A term in the computer science program at the University of Waterloo. This semester was completely online for me, which was a pretty interesting experience, especially having no live lectures. So today I'm just going to be talking about the courses that I took and what I thought about them. And these courses include CS135, Math 135, Math 137, Econ 101 and Spacom 223. The first course is CS 135, which is Designing Functional Programs. And this course, unlike most introductory CS courses that are taught in Python or Java, um, CS 135 was taught in Racket, which is a functional programming language. And one of the great things about Racket is because there are no loops, you have to do everything recursively. And so using Racket for this course definitely makes you a pro at recursion. Now Racket isn't particularly useful if you're looking for a job, but I think the concepts that we learned in this course are very foundational and very important. So in this course, we learned about the different types of recursion. So simple, accumulative, generative, and mutual. We learned about structures, which are pretty similar to objects if you've done object-oriented programming. Um, we learned about trees, binary trees, binary search trees, arithmetic expression trees. We learned about functional abstraction, so like lambda expressions, some abstract list functions like filter, map, foldr, foldl, and build list. And we also learned about graphs, so different types of graphs, how to represent them, backtracking, and how to find paths between nodes. Each week we had an assignment, and these assignments were usually pretty long, it took me between 10 to 15 hours to do. Some of the questions were actually really hard and because we were doing it in Racket, it just made things 10 times worse, especially the infamous question 3B. I spent like three to four hours each week going through modules, so like the lecture slides and the videos. And in total, I spent 13 to 19 hours per week um, on this course. Now, because I did have some prior programming experience, I didn't find the course too challenging, but some of the assignments were definitely really hard and time consuming. Overall, I really enjoyed the course. It was very well organized. There was lots of resources and support and the assignments were really fun. So I'd give this course five out of five geese. The next course is Math 135, which is algebra. And in this course, you basically learn how to prove mathematical statements using different propositions and theorems that you learn. I think we learned like 50 different theorems in the course. So I found everything before the midterm fairly easy. Um, we were introduced to like the language of mathematics, all the different symbols that we use. Um, we learned about like truth tables, Boolean algebra, and different proof techniques like direct proof, proof by contradiction, proof by contrapositive, um, mathematical induction, and strong induction. After the midterm, things got really, really hard and the assignments became really challenging. I didn't know how to do them. Had to go to like three different office hours for each assignment. It was a lot of fun. So we learned about like sets. We learned about like GCD and a bunch of related theorems to GCD, like Bezu's Lemma, co-primeness and divisibility, um, extended Euclidean algorithm. We also learned about linear Diophantine equations with two variables. We also learned about congruence and modular arithmetic, which was actually really confusing at first. And we learned about like related theorems like Fermat's Little Theorem, Chinese Remainder Theorem, and Splitting Modulus Theorem. We also scratched the surface of cryptography, specifically the RSA public key encryption scheme, because that was related to the congruence and modular arithmetic stuff we were doing. And then we also learned about complex numbers and polynomials with a bunch of related theorems like the Fundamental Theorem of Algebra, Conjugate Roots Theorem, Rational Roots Theorem, things like that. So as I mentioned, in the second half of the course, the written assignments became really, really challenging. They took between 10 to 12 hours for me to do. And then the quizzes took like one to two hours per week and probably spent four to five hours each week going through lectures and course notes. So in total, I spent between 15 to 19 hours each week on this course. Just like CS 135, I really enjoyed this course as well. It was also very well organized. There was lots of support, lots of resources. There was office hours like every day and the assignments were very challenging, 
but definitely doable. So I'd also give this course 5 out of 5 geese. Next, Math 137, which is Calculus 1. Um, this course was not my favorite. Everything before the midterm was really challenging, really confusing for me, and I did really poorly on the first few assignments and quizzes, and also the midterm. So we learned about sequences and convergence, so like the epsilon n proofs for limits of sequences, and epsilon delta proofs for limits of functions. I remember when we were first learning about like epsilon delta proofs, I was like, What's an epsilon? What's a delta? And then some of the other things we learned about include like squeeze theorem, monotone convergence theorem, sequential characterization theorem, intermediate value theorem, and like continuity. Oh, and the bisection method. So the first half of the course was really confusing, really challenging. But then after the midterm, I found everything to be pretty easy, mostly because like ha most of the second half of the course was just like high school material. So things like derivatives local and global extrema, inflection points, concavity, increasing, decreasing, um, curve sketching, and also like linear approximation, implicit and logarithmic differentiation, the mean value theorem, and L'Hopital's rule. And at the end of the course, we learned about Taylor polynomials and Taylor's theorem. So just like Math 135, each week we had an assignment, we had a quiz, but the quizzes in this course were much harder and the assignments were much easier. So the assignments took only like one to two hours each week and the quizzes took one and a half to two and a half hours and I spent like four to five hours going through the textbook and the notes. So in total I spent like six and a half to nine and a half hours each week on this course. Now I didn't really enjoy this course not because of the content but because of the way that it was run and specifically two things. So first I wasn't a fan of the video lectures that we were given so these video lectures that we were provided were a few years old and they were pretty much an audiobook of the textbook, so I didn't find them that useful, and instead I just read the textbook. Near the end of the course, I found one of the instructors posted their notes each week, so I read those notes instead, and those were great, so shout out to that instructor. Now the second thing that I didn't really like about the course was the quizzes, and there are two things about the quizzes that I didn't like. First, because all of the questions were select all that apply, you would either get one mark or zero marks, on these questions. So let's say you had a question with five options and say you select two of them, but a third option is also correct. You got 67% of the question right, but you get zero marks and that kind of sucks. It's kind of demotivating. It's very annoying, kind of frustrating. So the second thing that I didn't like about the quizzes was that you couldn't go back and forth between questions. So if you got stuck on a question, you wouldn't be able to just like leave it blank and then come back to it later. You had to figure it out right there or just, you know, guess. And so these two factors made doing quizzes really, really stressful, really annoying, and it was pretty frustrating as well. Overall, the course content was pretty good and there were some pretty good instructors, but I wasn't a big fan of the way that the course was run. So I'd have to give this course three out of five geese. The next course is Econ 101, which is Introduction to Microeconomics. And I took this course with literally no background in econ, and I just wanted to take a business course to see what it'd be like. But like after taking this course, I don't think I'll be taking another econ course because I found the content really, really dry and boring. So each week we'd have a module to go through followed by a quiz. So going through the modules was just a lot of reading, basically just an online textbook. It was like a big wall of text. I didn't really enjoy it. Some of the things that we learned about include, you know, supply and demand elasticity, utility and demand, uh, social welfare, uh, monopolies, perfect competition, oligopolies, monopolistic competition, things like that. Each week I'd cram the module into like one and a half to two hours and then I'd do the 20 minute quiz after. So the course wasn't really time consuming. It took like two to two and a half hours each week. Again, I didn't find this course that interesting, but it was fairly light and it was a nice break from all the math and CS that I was doing. So I'd give this course three and a half out of five geese. Now the last course is Spacom 223, which is public speaking. Now this was pretty interesting to take online because we weren't exactly, you know, public speaking in front of a live audience. We would just film ourselves talking in front of a camera and then submit it. So I guess like the public 
speaking aspect of the course was kind of missing just because it was online. Some of the things that we learned about in this course include rhetorical situation, audience analysis, um, persuasion and refutation. And I wouldn't say that I really like learned anything new in this course. It's more that it just made me more aware of things that speakers do when they're giving speeches. So things like analyzing the rhetorical situation or analyzing the audience. And this course also helped me look at public speaking concepts in a different way. I guess the main thing that I found beneficial in this course was being able to write and deliver speeches and then get feedback on them, which we did a lot. So we had three impromptu speeches, we had three short speeches that were like 90 seconds long, and we had three major speeches, which were worth like 15 to 20%. And these were like, usually like four to five minutes. And we also had 16 short quizzes and we had to do peer reviews for other people's speeches. The amount of work for this course varied each week, but I'd say on average, it was maybe like three to four hours each week. Now, I didn't really like doing the quizzes because we had to go through these long readings or these long videos just to answer the quiz questions. But writing the speeches was lots of fun because the prompts were usually broad enough to give you lots of freedom um, to decide what you wanted to talk about. Overall, writing and delivering the speeches was pretty fun and the instructor was also great, but I wasn't a big fan of the quizzes. So I'd give this course four out of five geese. Now, just to recap all the courses that I just talked about, CS135 was a great course, five out of five. Math 135, also a great course, but very challenging assignments, still five out of five. SPACOM 223, decent course, four out of five. Econ 101, not very interesting, but fairly light, 3.5 out of five. And Math 137, it was kind of painful, but three out of five. So my first term of university is complete. It was a very unique experience with it being entirely online. I took some really great courses, took some not so great courses, learned some cool things, struggled on a bunch of assignments, failed a midterm. You can watch that video right here. And yeah, overall, I'd say it was a pretty good semester. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.